have this mother place covered from you know, 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock in the evening. What a mess. Lindsay and Scott. Guess she finally found what she was looking for. I brought a few things of Molly's from what she was living at my house. I don't know who I am dating. He doesn't know who he is dating. And this book came to the house. Well, 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 would you see what we have here? The magical book, the book that started all this, the book that it's all about. How very interesting. That this is found all of a sudden. Hmm. That's for you. <laughs> yeah, that's just pretty much it. And this is Look at her face. <laughs> the book that started it all. This is what Scott claims is what started this whole situation with him going through my stuff. You have to explain this. Yeah, I'll get the car. Then I need to open the event account. It's a fantastic book that I read. I told him it was a quote from a book, but Scott has out and out called me a liar about it. It's I mean, you guys, it is so logical that he would call her a liar. It sounds so much like the reality she's living in now. It sounds like something she was trying to manifest. So yes, definitely and positively, he would do something like that. He would definitely suspect you, just like you're suspecting him the whole time. You guys don't know each other. You're complete strangers. Talking on the phone is not the same as having a real life relationship in real life. This is what I don't see these people getting. Okay, that's one. Two, okay, we found the book. I'm, I'm gonna need some... So I need to see some pages. I'm sorry. I need to go. I need I need to see it. I need to see the proof. But still, we still know that she's scamming him anyway. She's here for the money, the luxe life, to have an amazing house, this, that, that. She does want to leech off of him a little bit. So she didn't pretend that she doesn't want to because we all know. It's so long to find a book. <laughs> Start going through somebody's stuff. <laughs> Apparently they sent it from prison. Is that not what the mom said? They do stuff like that? They have time like that? Okay even normal it's not normal scott's a different person than what we perceived him to be you 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 this mom so you allowed your very young daughter to go and live with this old man that should be dating you quite frankly uh, and you're completely okay with that and also the fact that your granddaughter is going to stay with this random guy you were okay with that okay now that's right brought her to this new town i put her in this beautiful house scott also had to leave wherever he was living and move to this town to get you this beautiful house i've given her the most perfect room and i've let her meet and now get to know someone i thought he was going to be in the rest of her life <laughs> Ooh, she was about to say our lives but she said her life nah i don't know <laughs> But yeah, she, she, hmm. Lindsay's not gonna be around Scott for much longer. I have the, the, the feeling. And yeah, that's why you don't have to depend on somebody to give your child stuff. That's why you don't just have to start having kids when you don't have, you know, the resources, you know, that rough life. You don't give me a That's how you talk to the producers. She's texting somebody or reading some kind of text and they just want to know what's going on. They're hanging around the house, poor producers and camera crew and whoever else is there, project assistants and whatever. They're just lingering around, singing Kumbaya, twiddling their thumbs, waiting for some action to happen in the house. Finally, they see that she's gotten a text that's like making her like really like, ooh, like making her really like, oh. You can tell that it's something is bothering her that she's reading. So they're like, excitement, we've got something, we've got footage. And she's like, if you don't give me a mother effing minute. And um, yeah, rude. Very rude. Mama just sitting there chilling. Mama has nothing to say. Mama's not gonna say, uh, watch your mouth, uh, take it easy. Uh, like stuff that moms do, she's not gonna say anything. So this mom is just gonna sit there and watch her daughter just disrespect people like that. She's just there. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. That's how some of these people turn out as rough as they do. 
ain't got no home training. But anywho, don't quite know what their situation is, but still. It's not my fault that you don't have any friends. But... Yo, is that how she picked the phone? Or she called him, one of the two. Imagine you started saying that in your friend's circle or people you know. It's not my fault. You ain't got no mother effing friends. Yeah, that would be the end of you. For real, for real. Like, where is the attitude coming from? Like, out of all the people, her and Destiny have the same kind of vibe going on. But her level is also on another level than Destiny's level. I don't know. They're both, like, very... They feel like they deserve all this stuff. And it should just all come to them. And my thing is, what are you bringing to the table? You may be an ex-inmate, but that's fine. The person you're with doesn't really care about that anymore. But what can you bring to the table, financially and otherwise? What are you bringing to the table? Hmm. You got me out here and bum nowhere. The last thing I need right now is a text message from my prostitute-obsessed, lying boyfriend. Okay, and he says, moving forward, I don't want your friends coming by the house. And this whole Tarbell moving her RV into the driveway, I'm not too comfortable with that anymore. It's a no-go for me. And then she says, are you effing serious? Here's the thing. Why is all this being done through SMS, MMS, whatever? SMS, whatever. Why is it being done through that? Don't you guys live together? So this weird drama, like who told him to send her this? So they can have some drama, so that there can be some excitement in the house because he's been bored. And the producers have been bored in the house and they're in the house bored and not even their own house, Lindsay and Scott's house. Or should I say Scott and Lindsay's house? Hmm, interesting. Or does he work in a place where it's like far away and then he goes away for a few days and he comes back? I don't really know. But Lindsay goes in. That he is not okay with my friends being over. Yeah. He did say that. Don't know why he's saying that now. If you and your friends visit me, I'll have this mother place covered from 8 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock in the evening. Okay. See how you like that better. And that's my response and my answer. <laughs> and the mom is just sitting there like she has from the beginning. She's just there like... Who... What mom would hear how the daughter is speaking to their supposed boyfriend like that? Especially if they have nothing to bring to the table. I mean, literally nothing other than just being young. She brings her child. She brings no job, no money, no nothing. Just trouble. Uh, Ex-inmates as friends and a possible love interest, which supposedly Scott doesn't know, but I'm sure he's getting the hint now. That's why it's like, Tinkerbell, be gone. <sighs> yeah, but what person that doesn't have anything is this rude? And then the mom is also just sitting there like, mm-hmm, yeah. Maybe the mom is scared of her. Maybe she's been like a, a wild child and the mom doesn't really know how to act. The whole thing is crazy to me, honestly. It's wild to me. Um, Yeah, Scott, he better stand on his feet. But I really want them to air out all the stuff. The phones or phone that um, Lindsay found, the tenancy agreement that Lindsay found, so the house is not bought. And um, I want him also to find out that Tinkerbell is her girlfriend, which he's like, he's lying, he's doing this, he's doing that, but she's doing the exact same thing. How do two wrongs make a right? Ridiculous. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit bomb stuff. As on the subscribe button, comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell while I share it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Let me try it. God bless.